Hi friends, it's May 16th, um, 2022 and Microsoft released a new feature in the current version of Power BI Desktop today, which is called Field Parameters. Field Parameters let you change the dimension within a visual, so the, the x-axis, the y-axis, the legend, um, the row or column header in a matrix visual, or it lets you change the measure within this visual. I want to show you how this works out and how you can tweak this tool to being able to click on a single slicer and change the axis within the visual and the measure that's inside the visual. Let me show you how it works. First of all, let me give you a brief introduction to this new feature. I prepared three pages within this uh, workbook, which you can download from my website. Uh, you will find the link to the specific website in the comments below. On the left, you have um, a visual a bar chart that shows certain numbers by year, 2018, 19 and 20. On the right side, you have the exact same values, but not shown by year, but shown by month year combination. How would I implement this if I want the user to be able to change the axis by clicking on a slicer? Of course, I could use um, uh, data modeling for this, but there's an easier way now that I want to show you. When you go to file, and because this is a preview feature, you have to activate this preview feature first. To file and options, you can go to preview features. And if you want to play with this tool, you need to activate field parameters in this list. I already did this. I also restarted Power BI Desktop, so I can show you how this works. I go to modeling, and because I activated this preview feature, I have a drop down under new parameter, which is not there if you don't activate this preview feature. I don't want to use numeric range values, I want to use this fields attribute. So now I can give my parameter a name, I call it change axis. And now I can go to my fields list and pick those attributes from the calendar table that I'm interested in. And I want to have the year and I want to have the year month combination, which is um, down here. Uh, it's all in German language, but I hope you get the point anyway. Um, add slicers to this page is already pre-checked. I won't change this. I click on create and I get this uh, slicer here. And because I'm a lazy guy, I just copy the upper visual and pull it down. And what I want to do here is exchange the X axis, which is a month year combination now. And I want to replace it by this newly created um, parameter. So if I click on year, I see the year. And if I click on year month, I see year month. Pretty nice. Now let's see how this works for measures. It works quite, um, quite the same. We have um, two visuals, one on the left side that shows um, this numbers by year. The right one does as well, but the left one shows the actuals while the right one shows the forecast. So I want to be able to switch this by clicking on the slicer. So we create the next parameter. I go on fields again. Um, we can, we could change to numeric range here if we wanted to but we stay at fields and now this time I want to be able to change measures. So therefore um, I go to the actuals and click on uh, some value actuals current and then I go to the forecast and I um, choose the forecast value. I click on create again. It will uh, create a slice on this page automatically again. Here we go. And as I said, I'm lazy. I just copy this visual. I pull it down here and make it a bit smaller. And now I want to uh, throw the measure out and want to replace it by this parameter here. And when I click here, you see it's the actual value. And when I click here, it's the forecast value where I only have values for 2020. So far, so good. The thing is, um, there is no 
technical restriction that prevents me from including dimensional attributes like columns from a dimension table and measures within the same parameter. But as you have to pull those parameters to specific areas within the visual, um, areas where you show values or where you show dimensional attributes, it doesn't really make sense to combine them. So if you want to change an axis, you create an axis parameter uh, or a dimensional parameter. And if you want to change measures, you create a parameter where only measures are included. But what if you want to combine both? What if you want to have a single um, slicer that lets you change the axis and the measure of a specific visual? Let's try to create this one. I want to have the axis, the x axis here, and I want to have the measure here. And of course, I want to have a slicer that lets me switch between both. And I, I pull it down here to the axis so that I don't mess it up. And I want to have the measure here. And I do it this way. Of course, I can click on current and here and I click on year or year month combination here. But I don't want to click on two slices. I only want to click on one. How can I achieve this? To explain how I would implement this, we need to go back to um, the internals of those uh, parameter tables. And as you can see, and I clicked on change axis, my, my first parameter, it is a table that consists of three columns created by this DAX um, by this DAX code here. And what you can see is it is basically the name of the specific um, parameter or this item within the parameter that you can choose in the slicer. This is uh, the column the slicer um, works on. Then you have the th the second column that is the specific object from within the tabular object model. So it's whether a column or a measure. And the third column is a column that simply sorts those attributes from within the parameter. Those three are connected and I shouldn't integrate a column between one of those. But of course, I can extend this table by just typing in a fourth column. Let's say I want to have uh, the year as scenario one and uh, the month year as scenario two. I can totally do this. I forgot the two, I just added here. And now we have scenario one and two. So because I want to bring both together, both, uh, both parameters, the one for the axis and the one for the measures, I go to the other table and I add the fourth column as well by just putting it in. I say, okay, the actuals is um, scenario one and the forecast is scenario two. So now also this table has a fourth column with two th scenarios. I can go back to um, those two slicers and I just replace the change measure column by value four and I replace this one by the value four from the change axis parameter. What I can do now to being able to synchronize this slicer with this, this slicer, I'm sorry, um, I can use a feature that makes it possible to synchronize slicers based on tables that are disconnected. And this feature is called slicer groups. It's not very, n very much known, but we can use it here. We have a scenario one and two in both slicers. So I can click this slicer and I go to view and I go to sync slicers. I open the advanced options and I give this slicer a specific name like scenarios. 
I copied this one because I don't want to type it again. <laughs> and I misspelled it, scenarios. Yes, I copy it. And I click on the other slicer. And I put this name in here too. That way, both slicers are connected. You see, when I click on scenario one over here, it also chooses or selects scenario one in the um, in this slicer. And when I click on scenario two, we have it here as well. So we can change the scenarios by clicking one slicer. And so I can not delete this slicer here, but I can make it invisible. I go to selection and I make it invisible and I know everything works fine. Here we are on the forecast value in the month year combination and here we are on the actuals value per year. I, I like dealing with this feature and playing around with um, the fields parameters and I'm pretty sure I will do much more in the future when I have more ideas how to use it. Um, I hope this was interesting for you and you find ways to implement this into your solutions. Um, if this was, was interesting for you, please leave me a comment. And um, I say thanks for watching and have a great time. Bye bye.